continuing with 10.1 to 10.4 review, we're asked to graph the hyperbola with the equations that you see here. This is 5, B, and C. So we've learned that if we have x, y equals to a constant, if that constant is positive, so it's greater than 0, then the graph looks like a hyperbola like this, where it goes on forever on both ends, and it has asymptotes horizontal, that's this one, that's the y, the x-axis, so that's the equation y equals 0, and vertical asymptote right here, that's the y-axis, the equation x equals 0. So we know the graph looks like this. We just want to get a couple of points on the graph so that our graph is a little bit more accurate. So we're going to plot 1 for x, and that gives us 1 for y. And normally we would plot 1 for y to see what we get for x, but we're going to get the same uh, point. So let's put negative 1 for x, and we'll get... When you plug in negative 1 for x, you get y equals negative 1. So this is the, the reciprocal function. If you get y by itself, you get y equals 1 over x, and it has a name, reciprocal function. It flips whatever you put in the function. For example, if you put 2, y comes out as 1 half. And if you put, say, 1 third, you get 3. It does 1 over whatever you put in to the function. So let's plug in just the 1, 1, and the negative 1, negative 1. And we know the graph, the sketch of it, the general graph looks like that. And that's what we're going to do. Make sure you're approaching the asymptotes that we discussed. And it has symmetry with respect to the origin. If you turn the graph upside down, it looks identical. And now, if C is negative, such as this question, then the graph is the reflection of this graph over the x-axis. So it looks like this. And once again, we're going to plug 1 for x, we get y is negative 2, and let's plug 1 for y, we get x is negative 2. So let's plug those two points, 1, negative 2, and negative 2, 1, and let's have our graph approach the asymptotes and go through that those points. So the graph looks something like this.